Hello everybody, we're here from Millard South Media. I'm Austin Harms, joined with Hunter Tifo. And we're going to be breaking down the pre-game for this Millard South versus Kearney game today before the game because unfortunately we're not going to be live streaming. We got booted by the professionals, but let's dig right into this. So first we were looking at Max Preps Class A football rankings. They have Millard South listed at 1, West Side at 2, Elkhorn South at 3, Kearney at 4, Omaha North at 5, Papio La Vista at 6, Omaha Central 7, Millard North at 8, Bellevue West at 9, and Millard West at 10. Now going on to the playoff NSAA rankings, West Side is going to be coming in at number 1, Millard South at 2, Kearney going to be coming in at 3, Elkhorn South at 4, Omaha North who is still in it is going to be at 5, Bellevue West at 6, Lincoln Southeast at 7, Omaha Central at 8, Papio La Vista at 9, and Millard North at 10. Now looking at the playoff bracket, on the right side of the bracket is where Millard South is. Millard South defeated Papio South in round one, and then faced Millard North who beat Lincoln Southeast. Millard South then beat Millard North last week, and now, looking at the bottom of that bracket, Lincoln North Star beat Bellevue West, I mean Bellevue West beat Lincoln North Star. So Bellevue West played Kearney, then Kearney beat Bellevue West. So now we got this matchup against Millard South and Kearney here at Beale Stadium. Then on the left side of the bracket, we have West Side who went against Omaha Westview. They beat them, Papio La Vista beat Omaha Central, and then those two, West Side and Papio La Vista, played West Side 1. Then the bottom of that side is Omaha North played Lincoln East, Omaha North 1. Creighton Prep played Elkhorn South, Elkhorn South 1. Omaha North versus Elkhorn South, Omaha North came on top. And then we have West Side versus Omaha North this week. Now going on to the keys of the game for this Kearney versus Millard South matchup. For Kearney, they're going to want to get their run game started early. They want to keep the game close the entire way and then also attack the linebackers on Millard South side. And then for Millard South, like we've seen all season, they want to score first and punch first. They want to stop the run game on Kearney's side and then also be strong in the run game with Gabe Pruka. Looking at Millard South's regular season schedule, Millard South started the year off with a loss against Basha in Arizona, then won 56-0 against Millard West, then beat Kearney 52-3, then beat Millard North 63-21, beat Lincoln Southeast 56-12, beat Papio La Vista 56-21, beat Lincoln High 63-0, beat 56-10, and then Benson forfeited the game. Now going on to Millard South road to Memorial in the playoffs. Round one, like Austin said, we versed Papio South. We won 56 to 19. Then in round two, we played Millard North, won 49 to 10. The semifinal is going to be versus Kearney here Friday, and then the finals will be November 25th at Memorial Stadium. Millard South's first uh, round against Papio, they won 56 to 10. Kind of a slow start for Millard South only scoring 28 in the first half, which is unlike Millard South, but you know, started taking away, ended up with 56, beat Papio 56 to 19. Now going on to their round two, Millard South came on top of Millard North, an astonishing victory, putting up 49. Millard North only putting up 10. Great game there by the Patriots in round two. In round one for the Kearney, they won 21 to seven against Millard West. Kind of started off a little hot, scoring 14 in the first half, then an additional seven in the fourth quarter, making them 21 to seven victory over Millard West. And then round two for Carney, they came out in a blowout victory, 30 to seven against Bellevue West. Earlier this year, Millard South went up against Carney, defeating them 52 to three. Millard South really started off strong, didn't hold back the rest of the game, ended up 52-3. Now looking at the battle in the air, we got Jet Tamal and Griffin Novacek, Novacek, sorry. Jet Tamal is a great this year, like we've said during the past streams, he has great pocket presence, has barely thrown any interceptions. I think his interception ratio is 35-2, to two, so that's a great interception ratio. For Griffin, you know, we definitely want to see him run the option and scramble out of the pocket. Definitely throw some deep balls too. So that's what we got for the battle in the air. Yeah. So wrapping up this pregame, me, Austin Harms with Hunter. Uh, that'll be it. And make sure to join us November 25th at the finals. It'll be an audio stream. And thank you for joining this pregame.